video, I'm going to be showing you all of the basics of how to paint incredibly short toenails, which is going to be done on myself because right now my nails are really, really, really short. Painfully so, actually. But if you've ever tried to paint somebody that has really short toenails, you know that it isn't the easiest task to do. There's a lot of um, a lot of the skin, the nail folds around the nail, kind of like up, go up and over a little bit more than they would if a nail was longer, which makes it a little more difficult to paint. So I will be showing you all the tips and tricks I know from my years of experience as a nail tech, as well as years of experience as somebody painting. I typically have really short toenails, so on myself, on other people, these tips can be applied if you're painting your own toenails. If you're a nail tech that doesn't have many short nail clients and you wanna just get a little bit more knowledge under your belt, or if you're helping a friend. So I hope this video helps you out. If you have any questions, don't forget to ask me below. I will be here to help and I will see you all next time. So we are going to begin with base coat. So here's the base coat I'm using. It's from Madame Glam. It's one I usually use on toenails and I'm going to be removing almost all of the base coat from the brush. I do this for nails too. You wanna to get as much of that product off of the brush. After I have a little bit of a prep solution going over the nail, just to balance the pH and make sure that after I spend the time painting these toenails, the polish actually sticks. And by the way, these are completely prepped. If you wanna see that video, I will put a link to it in the description box below, also uploaded today. So we're going to take that base coat and I'm going to be painting the free edge first, which is different. You don't usually paint the free edge first. And I'm going to be painting it from side to side. So not brushing down the surface of the nail like I typically do. I'm going to cover it in a different way. As you are painting this surface of the nail, pull the skin apart, grab it from the sides. As you get towards the free edge, where you normally just like paint straight across and it would go off the end of the nail and it won't be a big deal on very short toenails or fingernails. When you get towards the free edge, you have to lift up you have to lift up on the brush so that you don't paint the skin beyond the toenail or fingernail. Same thing, same process applies. As you go through and you do the little toenails, I on myself, I can pull the skin on the front of my toenail down with my finger, as you can see, and then I don't have to worry about it quite so much. And the base coat is easier to do. Base coat in general is a thinner product, which goes on the short nails a little bit easier. One other thing, if you have a problem where your nails overlap or your toes overlap a little bit, you're gonna wanna use a toe separator. I typically don't, so that's why I'm not. So now for the tools we're going to be using to be painting the nails, I have a ultra liner brush from Madame Glam and it can be any little paintbrush. It doesn't have to be a nail brush, but a nail brush usually works a little bit better. And a toothpick. You can use either or, it doesn't matter, you don't have to have both. So if you aren't a nail tech and you aren't going to be needing these products for anything else, just grab a toothpick. And then you have your color. So for me, for the color I'm using, I'm picking one that is super pigmented. This is a new one from the new Madame Glam collection uh, that is from May, and it is super bright and super gorgeous and super pigmented. So just like with the base coat, how we took off most of the product, we're gonna do the same thing with our color. Most of the product is off of this brush. Make sure you take off as much as you can practically take off as much as you can and then re-dip one side of the bristles back in to get product just a little bit on the end of one side of the brush the other thing you're going to want to do besides getting your brush prepped just like this one is is you're going to want to put a couple globs of that color whatever color it may be onto a palette it can be a crystal palette like mine was or a piece of tin foil or just a you know candy wrapper or anything just put something on a little something that'll hold the color now i'm going to be painting the middle of my big toenail which sounds ridiculous i'm not going to go up to the cuticle and i'm not going to go to the free edge i'm going to be painting the center section of that nail with a i don't want to say a thick coat of the color but not a super thin coat either because we're going to be using that product that's in the middle as well as what's on the palette to fill in the rest of the nail so you don't want to flood the nail and have it be a super thick coat and you certainly don't want it to be where it's going to run off or run into the sidewalls of the nail but it doesn't have to be incredibly thin you're now going to take your paintbrush or your toothpick and you're going to be filling in the rest of the nail you're going to do the sides the free edge around the cuticle honestly if you have never done cuticles with a little brush instead of the brush that comes in the bottle. If you do it once, you're going to be addicted. Sometimes I do that for my clients. If they have a certain uh, type of a nail style and I want a really, really clean cuticle, makes such a difference. It is so beautiful to do it that way. As you can see, I'm also showing you the method with the toothpick. If you are a nail tech and you have paintbrushes, I do find it to be a little bit easier with the paintbrush or at least a little bit less of a hassle. But if a paintbrush isn't something you have, you want to paint your toenails today, use something pointy. It could be a toothpick or even um, just like a dead pen or anything that you have that's lying around that's pointy. I'm going to also use that toothpick to clean up any polish that happens to get on my skin. So now we're going to move on to the other nails. I can, like I said with the base coat, I can pull enough of the skin down on my little toes 
that I don't worry so much about that free edge. Obviously, as you can see, sometimes something happens. This particular toe, I had some cat hair stuck into it, which I don't know how I managed to do that, but I live with two cats and so cat hair, cat hair happens. That one too, cat hair everywhere, my goodness. And I'm also painting my nails on carpet, which doesn't help anything, oh goodness. But we're going to just go through and I'm going to be painting a portion of each nail. Again, not the full nail. I'm not even going to try to do the full nail. I'm just going to get a section of the done section of it done. So say 60% of the nail is the goal. If you happen to get 70 or 80 or 90, that's great. But you would want to just go through and fill in with that little brush. It is the easiest way to be mess free or the toothpick toothpick also works. And so after you have that little bit of color going around the nail, then you're going to cure. So one thing I want to mention is that I am showing you the method to do this with gel polish. If you are using regular polish, then it'll be a little bit different because you won't want to paint all of the nails and then go back through with the secondary color because it'll start to dry. So after you get a little bit of this done, you're going to want to immediately start to fill in the sides. Unlike where I just did three toes and then I'm going to go back through and fill in. You're just going to want to make sure that you're doing it a little bit more or more rapidly and working with wet product as soon as you can just to keep it from drying because it'll start to get a uh, weird pulling in it and it just won't be as smooth and as flawless. Another thing to mention is that this is all, like I said, gel polish. I will be showing you in a moment the better alternative to gel polish. So if you're thinking this looks like it's a tedious pain in the butt, which it is, then definitely watch the next step of this because it's easier because it's a different whole system and it works a little bit better. For the second coat, we're doing the exact same thing. Apply a generous portion of the nail with the color from the bottle, fill in the rest of it with your brush or your toothpick. As you're going through, you'll notice that the second coat is much quicker, much easier, just because you don't have to be quite as um, careful. You aren't making these lines fresh. You're just going over them for a second time. And as you're doing it with the second coat, it should really look nice and clean. If you're using a highly pigmented gel color, two coats should be definitely adequate. Hopefully it is. If you're using one that isn't as pigmented, you might end up with more streaks doing this method because that little brush isn't necessarily meant for full coverage. So it isn't, the bristles aren't made to leave a smooth finish. However, hopefully you do get that smooth finish, even if they aren't meant for it, just because if your product is, is pigmented and smooth enough, it won't matter. So after we've got all of those done, you're going to want to finish it off with a layer of top coat. We've got our Madame Glam top coat, which is also the one that you typically use for toenails. And we're going to be putting a glob of that onto a palette or a piece of tin foil. And then you're also going to be painting the majority of the nail straight from the bottle. Same thing like with the base coat and the color. When you're prepping your brush, make sure you have limited product. As you can see, I almost immediately had to go back into my bottle to get more just because I had such limited product. I needed to get some. I am pretty much going to be painting the entire toenail with the bottle brush, especially the big toenail, because I'm comfortable in doing that. If you, this is something where you aren't as confident with a bottle brush, you don't paint your toenails or anybody else's toenails frequently, you may consider doing more of it with the little brush just to make things a little easier on yourself. The other thing that you can do, this is something more for somebody if you tend to cramp when you're painting your toenails, which is definitely a possibility. I stretch my legs out between every single coat when I'm painting my own toenails. Do a portion of it at a time. There is no reason that you have to do all of your toenails on a single sitting. So you can do um, three at a time and do it over the course of three or four afternoons or whatever the case is. Allow yourself that opportunity to spread it out and make it easier. So the easier way of painting little toenails and any toenails for that matter is to use a thick gel consistency like this Madame Glam pudding gel, which is very similar to the color that I used on my other toenails. So I'm going to have one foot that's slightly different than the other one, or they're both slightly different. But this, as you can see, I'm using an application brush from Madame Glam, and I'm going to be applying this pudding gel to my nail. Because it is thicker, it will not flood. It'll go exactly where I tell it to go. And the brush itself is stiffer than a bottle brush, meaning, meaning that it won't like flop down onto the end of your toe easier or as easily. Obviously you still have to be cautious. I'm still going across the tip of my nail the same way that I did with the other ones from side to side instead of straight down, but it's so much easier to get a perfect coat of color. And like I said, it's not just short toenails. Using this pudding gel is way better for painting any toenails. And Madame Glam has quite a few shades of it out now. So if you 
I don't have any and you think, oh man, this would be really good for my toenails specifically. I do a base coat on this toe or this foot as well. Just, I didn't show you that. So just to make sure you know, um, you can go and if you have a color that you typically gravitate towards, like for me, I almost always wear dark purple on my toenails. That's what I think looks the best. And it's just the color that if I don't know what I want, I always will grab because it's like my, my backup. And if you, that was the case and you sometimes switch off, but there's a color you always go for, get a pudding gel in that color so that you can go through and you can use it and it's confident and it's a good color that you can always wear and say you have, my toenails chip really bad usually, more so even than fingernails. I redo my toenails a lot. Um, if you have one toenail that tends to pop off more than others, which I, one thing I do, so weird, um, you can just repaint that one if it's just a color that you always have and you always go for. So that's it. After you have two coats of the pudding gel on, top coat just like you did the other foot. That foot is by far easier and by far quicker than the one with gel polish, but both turn out so nice. I hope this helped you guys out. If you're curious about my short toenails, there will be a story in the description box below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!